China drains water supply for 1.4 million people for a ridiculous reason. Ironically, the CCP had hopes actions would lift an agricultural region out of poverty. If you plan on watching the Winter Olympics in Beijing starting February 4th, just realize all those ski slopes you're seeing are covered in totally fake snow, and the Chinese government put the water supply of 1.4 million people relying on uh, this, this, this lake water at risk to get it done. According to Bloomberg, fake snow is straining the water supply of Zhangjiakou, one of the main sites of the 2022 Winter Olympic Games. Also, China has built up the site as their version of the Alps, creating an upscale winter holiday destination in the hopes of lifting an agricultural region out of its poverty, which does not explain where they'll be able to drink once they're lifted out of poverty, but such a life is in Winnie the Pooh's 100-acre communist world. It's not as if this is the only reason to boycott the games, given the Chinese Communist Party abysmal human rights records. The um, bellicosity towards Taiwan and its neighbors in the South China Sea. And um, here, uh, while other Olympic Games have used artificial snow, which has the advantage of, of course, being more densely packed and consistent, Zhang Jiaiku is not the place to be doing it. It's not just because it receives minimal snow. For starters, the Beijing Zhang Jiaiku region tends to be dry, with little winter precipitation. And that dryness means much of the water is lost during the snowmaking process because of the evaporation. High winds don't help either, and more water has to be pumped into the ground to freeze it before snow can be layered on top of it. For the Olympics, China could end up using 2 million cubic meters of water to turn Zanzaiku into a winter wonderland. This is according to the University of Strasbourg geographer Carmen de Jong estimates. And according to Bloomberg, to put that in perspective, that's enough water to fill 800 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And this will make uh, mark the first Winter Olympics that will completely rely on artificial snow for skiing and snowboarding events. De Jong also estimates in an article for environmentalist publication Tree Hugger that Beijing will need an estimated 49 million gallons of water to create the artificial snow required for the events. The city of Zhangjiakou has 1.4 million residents with wider prefectural metro home area to a total of 4.1 million. Hong Kong-based environmentalist group China Water Risk said over half of Zhangjiakou is highly water stressed. And meanwhile, the residents have only one-fifth of the water resources per capita when compared to the average Chinese peer person, one-fifth. So consider then that in Zhangjiakou, district of Chongli, a spokesperson for Beijing Winter Olympics said almost 10% of the water will go towards making snow to cover barren brown hills, according to Bloomberg reports. Zhang said there is bound to be some impacts in the region where there is nearly no water in the winter. For half the year during the snow sport season, the water stays away from the, the natural ecosystem. So it's not just that Beijing is using the scarce water resources in Zhaozai King to cover brown hills, arid hills with snow for the Winter Olympics. Even the unsuitable climate has not stopped China from investing heavily in Zhaozai's tourist industry since Beijing won its bid for the Winter Olympics in 2015. Today, it has seven bustling ski resorts and the city receives three million skiers annually. A fast train that opened in 2019 takes only 50 minutes from Beijing, enabling quick weekend trips. And according to the State Sport Administration, China has already achieved its goal of having 300 million people participate in snow and ice sports. It's also built 650 skating centers and 800 ski resorts nationwide. So in short, the damage is not just going to be done over a two-week athletic competition for the Olympics. The race to turn Jiaojiaiku into a popular winter tourist destination has long been on, and the Olympics is a flagship advertising event for this. So where are some of the Olympics' biggest sponsors? After all, top IOC sponsors like Airbnb, Coca-Cola, Toyota have no problem embracing this, but they seem strangely quiet about everything involving 
these games. As China embarks on an effort that could threaten the water supply of these 1.4 million people that only have one-fifth of the water of, of the other Chinese residents, surely you'd expect at least a peep out of them, uh, one of them. Apparently not, because obviously they don't have freedom of speech. And this is on WND by uh, Douglas, uh, C. Douglas Golden from Western Journal. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.